work. I don't even know where y'all work at, but f them too. You ever leave work on Friday, you know you're not coming back the next day, but don't nobody else know? See you tomorrow. You be like, you think so, bitch? Because you gotta find your crazy friend at work. You gotta identify your crazy friend. You gotta use them like a union rep. Whatever your grievances are at work, whisper to your crazy friend. They said, we gotta work Saturday for the next three months and just walk off and just hide behind a rubber plant or something. And let them do their crazy thing. They just gonna stand up and say, who the f coming up here every Saturday? And you behind your plant, you just come out later to their desk and like, I'm so glad you said something. I am so glad you spoke up for everybody. You gotta know who your crazy friends are at work. Black people, we love to get loud with people. That's our shit, right? No matter where we at, CVS, Walgreens, we don't give a damn. All of us can't fight, we just like to get loud. You ever seen somebody cut in line at the store, they always look at the black person like, say something. And we can't help ourselves, we jump right in action, don't we? Mother the line back here. The line back here. Yeah, I got a question too, that's all I got. That's all I got. We love to get loud. It's little league football, you always got that one parent. You ain't supposed to say nothing to the kids. Everybody know little number 66 ain't worth a shit. Everybody know. <laughs> Championship game, he ain't went in yet. 66, get in there. You hear somebody all the way at the end. <laughs> you don't say nothing, just look straight ahead. Just look straight ahead. First play, they hand it off. He run up the middle 15 yards. 66 ain't do nothing. You hear that person out there, man, 66, you the biggest thing out there, man. You don't say nothing. Until the end of the game, you say some like, I am so glad you said something. <laughs> Who the hell is 66? We love to get loud. You gotta find your crazy friends. Like black people, we hate potluck dinner at work, right? We hate potluck. That's like kryptonite to black people. No matter where you at, it's universal. Black people, we can't eat your food unless we see in your kitchen. That's our rule. That is our rule. At work at the holidays, then you gotta send your crazy friend in first so you can tell them to take a look at the spread. Cause black people will hurt your feelings at work. They'll just look at the food and yell back, don't with it. Don't with it. Like, I don't know who put peas in potato salad, but we don't do that. You just walk by your friend like, I am so glad you said something. <laughs> I didn't want to eat that shit either. <laughs> Anybody ever make a big ass plate and just walk around the corner and just throw it in the <laughs> trash? <laughs> you be loading up your plate like, yeah, put a little bit of that on there, put a little bit. You gotta find one of them long trash cans too that hit all the way at the bottom. Like, <laughs> what did that dirty bitch Karen make? What did she make? I ain't never seen her kitchen, but that desk is a mother mess. I know that. And if she think I'ma eat one of them deviled eggs, she done lost her mind. There's more funny where that came from. Subscribe right here, right now, and you won't miss another laugh.